how does church feel when you know you're a believer? Brown. So let's just go inside and get everything of what's going on. I recorded this video last year when I was 100% against religion. But since then my mind changed, a lot of stuff happened. Still at that time, I decided that I'm going to church one day, record everything and note down how I felt after being a non-believer in a church. These are things which I wrote down in my notebook after the whole service. Can't be visible because of the light. Whatever. Thing number one, you make friends and you create a community, which is something like when you're in or like a non-believer friends are maybe just at the job or let's say neighbors or people who you meet randomly but you don't have like that community of people like if anything happens to me i know these people will come let's say at my funeral so if you don't create so many friends then you don't have also a community second thing fun make it sweeter and it makes you think that you're actually enjoying it i like music i like dancing and when i was in a church and we're playing this music even though it's gospel i would dance and it's so much fun actually dancing which now here there is a plot twist worship are boring if you know the leader okay there's something which maybe i think most people in church will refuse but like the real truth is that when it's worship time like okay if i can take the case specifically of protestant church pentecostal church when it's worship time only the leaders or people who are almost in the front row are the ones who are active the ones behind they're like oh, okay now it's okay we know that you can sing and put and lift up your hands we know and like they don't get it as much as those people who are in front and like i feel like there is a little bit of hypocrisy in doing that stuff if when you're not a leader you don't do it properly it's just my own point of view dress well but better enough to be liked which brings that there is somehow somewhere competition in dressing which okay, i think it's a cool thing coming to church when you're dressing well but it quickly goes into competition and at the point never hurt the community say everything or do everything but make sure nothing goes against the specific church in which you are yeah it's something which i never noticed when i was in church because i was thinking i'm doing things for god but then i came to realize that there are a lot of things which actually people do for the community instead of doing them for god like oh i can't curse yeah because you know the brother near you will say you're doing the wrong thing but when you actually burn off this air of doing it it should be like i can't curse because god is watching me but then it's more of i can't curse because my brother is watching me a good preaching is the one close to that one in mega churches and with strange quotes even if i know them which i don't think also is a cool thing but at the end of the day what i can just say is that church can be fun even if you know a believer as long as you can pretend to come just there for fun i don't know if people do realize also that atheists especially those coming from christianity are not people who actually are running away from god but the people were looking so much for god that they couldn't find any evidence of god comparatively to those people in church who actually don't even look for god they just accept the fact that they told me there is god and i don't need to do anything more about that which i think is a difference christians should find a way of looking more for god rather than trying to please the community thanks so much for being here catch you next time